I sell hardcore drugs. Oh, good. We started helping out with the mortgage then. What a twist! Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we'll be counting down another top 10 shocking moments in video games. The show's about to begin. For this list, we've selected 10 of the most unbelievable and shocking moments to ever occur in gaming. If you didn't see a moment that you think should be on this list, be sure to check out our first video on this topic, Top 10 Shocking Moments in Video Games. Damn it! Why can't you remember? Obviously, many of these moments involve really important plot points, so there are some super duper spoilers ahead. Nothing is safe, prepare yourself. What we do here now will be written and sung about on YouTube for days to come. <laughs> Number 10, Dom dies, Carmine lives. Years of War 3. Oh, I can't wait to hear this shit. I'll get the popcorn. By the third game in the series, one of the Carmine brothers dying was basically a tradition. So, while the third entry in the franchise was nearing completion, gamers voted by purchasing different shirts for their Xbox Live avatar to determine whether or not Clayton Carmine would survive. Oh, shit, shit. We're on fire. We're on no, fire. Carmine. By saving Carmine, however, they were indirectly sacrificing one of the game's most beloved characters, Dominic Santiago. Okay, let's get this over with. Dom gets one last chance to visit his wife's family grave in a heart-wrenching scene before he heroically sacrifices himself by driving a truck into a gasoline tanker, causing a tunnel to collapse, simultaneously crushing himself and his enemies. Dom, no! Number 9. The castle gets flipped upside down, Castlevania Symphony of the Night. Okay, so you think you've beaten the game, only to discover that you're only at the halfway point and you have to beat it again to get the best ending. What? The fake ending trend started with games like Ghouls and Goblins, but no game did it better than Castlevania Symphony of the Night. It's over, Belmont. That's right, reach the top of the castle and then the whole thing gets flipped upside down. Brilliant plot twist or massive game filler, either way, you won't be forgetting this. You've defeated me. But all is not yet lost. Number eight, Lunacy, Portal 2. Let go! We're in space! Oh, let go! Let go! Wheatley seems like such a nice, friendly AI at first. Rule number one of living in the future, we assume at least, never trust artificial intelligence. Oh, that's me they're talking about! Unfortunately, just like GLaDOS before him, Wheatley is corrupted by power and becomes the game's antagonist. Let me tell you, I knew it was going to be cool to be in charge of everything. In the final battle, Chell looks up and notices that big white moon through the hole in the ceiling. One portal later, and Wheatley, Chell, and everything else are blasted onto the moon. <laughs> Only thanks to GLaDOS does Chell make it back alive and through the portal. But those few moments of zero-g redemption are glorious. I honestly do wish I could take it all back. And not just because I'm stranded in space. I'm in space. Number seven, reveal of the origami killer. Heavy Rain. After spending the whole game tracking down the serial killer known as the Origami Killer, it shockingly turns out that all of the answers you were looking for happened to be right under your nose. You discovered my little secret. Several different characters are suspected of being the murderer, but no one really expected the hard-nosed detective Scott Shelby. Turns out that Scott is the one who experienced the traumatic death of his brother as a youth, slowly turning him into a crazed killer. Don't forget about this guy. <laughs> Depending on your choices, Scott either faces justice or escapes a free man. I swore on my son's grave that I would kill the man who murdered him. I'm gonna keep my word. Number six, you are Comstock, Bioshock Infinite. Love the prophet because he loves the sinner. Find the exit out of this place. Sinner because he is you. Things get complicated towards the end of Bioshock Infinite with alternate realities and jumping through tears in the space-time continuum, but there are two main shocking reveals. Number one, Elizabeth is actually Booker's daughter. And number two, there are two specific strains of reality in an infinite sequence of possible strains of existence. What is this place? Elizabeth? It's a doorway. One of many. One where Booker accepted a baptism, and one where he didn't. The Booker you control comes from the reality where he didn't accept the baptism. And the reality where he did accept it, well, that's where he changed into Comstock, 
became evil and founded Columbia. So that means to kill Comstock, Booker must sacrifice himself. He's Zachary Comstock. He's Booker DeWitt. No. I'm both. Number five, Reznov isn't real. Call of Duty Black Ops. What about Reznov, the defector? We need to find him. We won't. He was never here. If you're gonna survive a Russian gulag, you need a buddy to watch your back. Alex Mason's buddy is Reznov, a longtime prisoner who first appeared as the Russian CEO in Call of Duty World at War. The heart of this army can never be built. Reznov helps Mason escape the prison and, in the following years, helps Mason during his unauthorized assassination missions on three leaders, Dragovich, Krevchenko, and Steiner. What? But it turns out that Reznov died in prison and brainwashed Mason so he could carry out his unfinished business. Steiner, Krevchenko, all must die. Mason's buddy during the assassinations is actually just a figment of his imagination, allowing Reznov to pull the strings from beyond the grave. My name is Baker Reznov, and I will have my revenge! Mason, no! Number four, opening scene, The Last of Us. There's something bad going on, and we have got to get out of here. Do you understand me? There are several shocking near-death experiences in The Last of Us, including when Joel gets impaled on a steel spike. Ouch. But nothing compares to the bleak and harrowing opening scenes when he sees his daughter Sarah get shot as he's trying to carry her to safety. These opening scenes set the tone for The Last of Us universe, one that's filled with uncompromising bleakness and people that have to survive by any means necessary. Come on, baby girl. I got you. I got you. <laughs> this game is not afraid to explore places of extreme emotional darkness, as Sarah's death ultimately turns Joel into a hardened, bitter individual filled with guilt and resentment over what could have been. Don't do this to me, babe. Don't do this to me, babe. Come on. Number three, going up Mr. Slave's butt, South Park, the stick of truth. Do you know what time it is, mister? It is way past your bedtime. Somehow, the developers at Obsidian managed to outgross the TV show's already pretty damn gross source material in South Park, the stick of truth. What are you waiting for? Pull it out. There are dozens of shocking moments to choose from, including watching your parents have sex while you fight underwear gnomes, but one moment stands out above the rest. We've got our orders. Yeah, but how come we always get the shit jobs? Go clean out the barracks. Go round up civilians in their homes. Go up a gay man's butthole and guard against intruders. In order to abort a deadly snook, your party shrinks down and crawls up Mr. Slave's rectum. Yes, there is a part of the game that takes place inside of Mr. Slave's colon and includes many fecal-themed enemies to beat up. Ooh, Jesus Christ! Number two, Commander Shepard dies. Mass Effect 2. How about we talk about this after we fix my leg? Picking up where the first game left off, Commander Shepard is out in space keeping the galaxy safe when all of a sudden, a single blast from an unknown enemy ship breaks the Normandy in two. As Shepard scrambles to save the ship's pilot, Joker, he doesn't leave himself time to escape and is blasted into space as the Normandy comes apart. What would normally be the cliffhanger finale leaves you reeling before the title's even seen, whetting your appetite for the amazing game to come. That was too close. We almost lost him. I told you your estimates were off. Run the numbers again. Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Number one, it's all a simulation, Assassin's Creed. Nothing is true, everything is permitted. Understand these words. When it was first revealed, gamers around the world expected Assassin's Creed to be a relatively straightforward historical drama adventure. 
What they didn't expect was for Ubisoft to pull the old bait and switch and throw the game setting on its head. I told you he'd be fine. Bastards! Now, now, I just saved your life. It turns out that Assassin's Creed was actually a complex science fiction opus, where the protagonist, Desmond, delves into the memories of his ancestors to track down the location of the Pieces of Eden, powerful artifacts that the evil corporation Abstergo are also after. Another word and I'll put my blade to your throat. You can admit it. This is the one piece of Creed mythos that you were not looking forward to when each new game came out. Peace be upon you, Altair. <laughs> Do you agree with our list? Going through something like that changes you. Did we forget any surprising video game moments or twists? For more shockingly awesome top 10s published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. Well, I suppose we could just sit in this room and glare at each other until somebody drops dead.